Hi guys, it is a nasty, ugly, miserable, cold, depressing, yuck winter day here in the end times in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas, here on this dreary, depressing Thursday morning, December 7th, 2017. So I'm off to sell Christmas trees to clueless morons for the Optimist Club uh, once again. But before I head out the door, uh, this is your old lying scoundrel, Hambone Little Tail, a.k.a. Sam Mitchell. I don't know if, how many of you know what my real name is, is Sam Mitchell. So anyway, since I am a lying scoundrel, I have to... Uh, Admit yet another lie I have told you, which you will not be surprised. I guess I lied. I lied once again <laughs> when I said that I would never mention Guy McPherson's name on my channel again. But I do remember putting an asterisk uh, by that uh, when I made that promise, I think for the third time a few weeks ago that Guy McPherson is extinct on this channel. I said unless Guy McPherson mentions Hambone Littletail's name, then I got to mention his name one more time. So I want to encourage Guy McPherson to mention Hambone Littletail's name every opportunity he can, because every time Guy McPherson mentions my name, I notice that my uh, both my number of subscribers and my financial donations actually uh, take a nice rise. And I want to thank Guy McPherson for all, seriously, uh, for all of the financial donations and new subscribers to Humpty Dumpty Tribe. So uh, I guess, I don't know if this counts or not, guys. So Guy McPherson, just because he knows it would piss me off, uh, my fellow eco-egomaniac, of course Guy and I are, are the two biggest egomaniacs in the Doomosphere. So Guy McPherson has learned not to mention Hambone Littletail's name because he knows I want him to mention my name. So instead, I guess, uh, I am now being labeled Sam Mitchell in his diatribe. So several Alert Tribes members uh, have have let me know in, in Guy's newest rant from yesterday on Nature, I guess this is on Nature Bats Last, whatever you call his uh, thing. So I am in uh, Sam Mitchell, a.k.a. Hambone Littletail, is in good company as Guy McPherson is sharing some good news about near-term human extinction in his latest rant. Uh, so this is Guy McPherson on the good news about near-term human extinction. Quote, Good news. Near-term human extinction includes lying scoundrels. Includes lying scoundrels for example, Serena Marie Raphael McPherson, no relation to Guy. She is the young, she is that lying scoundrel claiming, uh, backed up with much uh, direct evidence uh, that Guy McPherson uh, is whatever Guy McPherson is. If you don't know her, here is Carolyn Baker making the list of lying scoundrels. We have Derek Jensen making Guy McPherson's list of lying scoundrels. We have Mike Sleva on the list of lying scoundrels. We have Mike's beautiful wife, Karen, uh, making the list of lying scoundrels. Who else? Corey Morningstar, Forrest Palmer, Lear Keith, Nicole Foss, Keith Harmon Snow, here's my old buddy Mike Farragan from Extinction Radio is, is another lying scoundrel uh, from Extinction Radio, Alex Smith, 
Scott Johnson, Kevin Michael O'Connor, and finally showing up here, Sam Mitchell, as I say, Guy McPherson will not uh, do me the the favor of, of lumping Hambone Littletail into this list of lying scoundrels. So Sam Mitchell, uh, my alter ego, showing up in the list of lying scoundrels. And then uh, this website called Climate State which is due for a whole nother rant. Apparently, Climate State went off the air for a couple of days uh, and has re, uh, reappeared. Uh, Climate State has reappeared. Apparently, I haven't checked in with them. I hear from tribes members that Climate State are now joining the chorus of voices calling out Guy McPherson. I've, I've only called out Guy McPherson for being a spineless coward. Uh, I have never called out Guy... Well, I have. Okay, I admit I've called out Guy McPherson on a few other things. But I have, apo I have apologized for calling Guy a, 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 what it, a fucking idiot. But uh, I have nothing to apologize to Guy McPherson simply for calling him a spineless little coward that does not have the balls of Sancho Panza. And of course, Sancho Panza has no balls. And uh, that is my only problem with Guy McPherson is that he is a spineless, ballless little coward. Uh, I don't know if Guy McPherson is a lying scoundrel or not. He is simply a spineless, ballless little coward. And, uh, anyway. And doubtless many others. There you go. So we do have some good news. And I want to thank Guy McPherson for at least putting my alter ego that all clueless fucking moron real estate investor Sam Mitchell in a list of good company. If I can be lumped into the same list with Derek Jensen, Mike Sleva, Carolyn Baker, Mike Farragan, and the rest, all I can say is I am in good company with my lying scoundrel friends down here in the Doomosphere. And Guy McPherson has made my day. So uh, I sent Guy a, an email. You know, Guy and I, up until a few weeks ago, we, we emailed regularly. I have not gotten an email from Guy McPherson in this past couple of months. Can't imagine why. So this was my email I just sent to Guy. Guy, I really appreciate the mention in your latest rant, amigo, but nobody except you knows who the fuck Sam Mitchell is. In the future, when you put me in that list of lying scoundrels like Derek Jensen, please call me by the name folks will recognize, which is Hambone Littletail. I need the clickbait. I really do want to thank you for the flood of new subscribers and financial donations I have received since our interview. I am quite sure you are partly to thank for that. Give my love to Pauline, that is his polyamorous partner Pauline, and let her know I am easy to find. Merry Christmas, amigo. And let's all wish Guy What's His Name a Merry Christmas. And uh, I don't know whether your old, your old depressed, collapsitarian, lying scoundrel uh, has the energy for a dump the Trump de Hive Roundup rant or even a depressed collapsitarian whine, but I need to do that on the drive to the Christmas tree light if I'm going to have one. But for this comment of the day from my old buddy Guy McHugh,
Merry Christmas, amigo. I'm off to the Christmas tree lot. Bye, guys.